Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2023 Kia Sorento, we're gonna be checking out the Thule Hitching Post Pro Hitch Mounted Bike Rack. First impressions of the rack on the back of the Kia, I think it looks good. You know, it doesn't look out of place at all. And that kind of holds true for just about any vehicle you put this rack on. It's kind of just got a timeless design to it um, and never out of style, at least in my opinion. But this could be a great way to carry around a lot of bikes so you can hold up to a total of four on this one. And one thing I noticed is where it's gonna sit in relation to the Kia's back window. So it's about level with the bottom of it. And so if you're sitting inside looking out of the rear view, you're still gonna be able to see what's going on behind you. You know, it might be broken up a little bit by the bikes, but it's not gonna be completely blocked, uh, which isn't, the, isn't always the case with hanging style bike racks. What a lot of people like about this rack, including myself, is the simplicity, how it's gonna work, really user friendly. You know, so it's gonna hold your bike down in, in three spots. You'll have two straps here on the top two, and then a strap down here. And that's there to help prevent swinging or side to side movement. That way your bikes ain't you know, crashing into each other when you're going down the road. Uh, but it's gonna be real easy to, to get your bike off. You know, you just simply move them straps out of the way. Then you're gonna be able to slide it off. I do like the arms are about the perfect width apart, not too narrow nor too wide. So it's gonna make it pretty manageable to slide the bike off or put it on. The cradles here where your bike is gonna sit, they're relatively wide and deep. They have some grooves in them there for your cables and stuff to pass through without getting smashed. Um, almost a hard rubber, soft plastic, so you know, most frames should fit in there and you're not gonna have to worry about scratching them up. Something that does separate this rack from some of the others, uh, you know, similar to it are the straps. These things are super stout, uh, really thick. We use this rack all the time, almost every day, putting it on different vehicles and these just take forever to wear out. And usually these are kind of the weak link on a lot of similar type racks. They're a little cheaper and kind of flimsy, but definitely not the case uh, with these here. If you're someone that wants to load up your bikes the night before pulling to the garage and that way you can just hit the road first thing in the morning, you need to think that, you know, it's gonna extend the overall length of your vehicle. And so to figure out exactly how much, we'll measure from the hatch here to the very edge of the rack. And that's gonna be about 39 inches. So just keep that in mind. When the rack is unloaded, um, the arms do swing down though. It makes it a lot more compact. You're gonna have a pin and clip there. We'll pull that out. Swing this on down here. Put that pin and clip back through there. Now it turns, uh, it makes it relatively compact. I'd say probably the furthest point. We'll go from there. Looks like it's only gonna be about 19 inches. So honestly, in most cases, in this position, you shouldn't really run into any issues trying to pull uh, into your garage. You are able to drive around uh, with the rack on here in this position. And honestly, unless you weren't playing on riding for some time, I'd probably just leave it on. Uh, I think it looks pretty good, you know? Um, speaking of which, a lot of people wonder if you're able to get into your hatch with the rack installed. And this one, the answer is yes. Um, if you move down here, you're gonna have a pin and clip and pull that out. This thing drops way down, gives you a ton of space here to be able to get in and out of the back of your Kia. Moving down here, the rack is gonna work with the two inch by two inch hitches like we have here today on our Sorento. It can also work with the smaller inch and a quarter hitches. So if you have another vehicle in the household, uh, no chance there's a pretty good, this will work with it as well. It is gonna come with an anti-rattle bolt. What that's gonna do is eliminate any slop or play there in the connection point and help prevent that clunking uh, that you would hear. Usually, so to kind of give an example of that, let's say if we're going down the road, hitting some bumps, you can see that it's gonna move with our Kia and not on its own. So at the end of the day, a tried and true bike rack. You know, a lot of people like these, really reliable and last a long time. So overall, a good fit for the Kia. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Hitching Post Pro Hitch Mounted Bike Rack on our 2023 Kia Sorento.